Hello everybody, welcome to Salesforce Break. As you know, the talk in town is that summer 20 is around the corner and we have actually a guest user uh, issue uh, task at hand. Now, uh, with summer 20, securing guest user is going to be enabled on all orgs unless you opt out and this uh, requires that you do some testing and adjustments on your communities and sites and also for your volunteers site uh, if you're using uh, the nonprofit volunteer package uh, before the release becomes active now to test that I have here a summer 20 preview instance and I have uh, created a flow on this instance that's called buy ticket in summer 20 now let's see what that does now buy ticket in summer 20 the, the active version right now is a default mode flow so you can see that over here and I have a couple of other versions that I'm going to test with now I'm going to open this one and show you what it does. It's a very simple flow. So there's actually a screen where you're asking uh, the mobile phone number for the contact you're going to buy a ticket for and then you're going to get that contact and then create a ticket. Ticket is just a custom object and uh, it has a lookup field to the contact and we are going to show the success message on the screen when this flow is run let me run this one here so i have a contact in the system with the phone number mobile phone number 555 i'm going to enter that and then when I enter that and then click next, the system is going to tell me a ticket with record ID, blah, 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 has been created for Lauren Boyle on this date and time. Now let's check that on our uh, contact records. When I go to the contact view, list view, and I pull up the record for Lauren Boyle, I see that it has a related list and the related list has multiple tickets as I've been testing for a while on this now and T000014 is the record we just created. So uh, it's 9.33 a.m. California time. Uh, that the record was created at. Now this record, Lauren Boyle record, I want to point out is under an account called United Oil and Gas Corporation. And United Oil and Gas Corporation has the ownership field with the pickest value other. I want I just want to point that out because we're going to do some sharing rules related to this value over here but uh, before we do that let's go ahead and uh, expose this flow on a community for the guest user now I'm going to go to my settings let me just close this window now I have already a community created here and I call the community ticket faster and this is the URL summer 20 is here yay and uh, as I go into my builder, 
I see several options on the builder. What I need to first see and check is that my guest user profile is ticket, ticket faster profile. There are a couple of settings I need to set over there. But uh, before I do that, I want to go ahead and create a page. And use my flow on that page for the guest user to access. It's going to be a standard page. Let me use the two column design. And I'm going to call this by ticket. Oops. By ticket. An API name by ticket. Now, whenever you want to insert a flow onto a page, what you want to do is you want to go to your components and there is actually a flow component that you can drag and drop into your flow. And as the flow name, we are going to pick buy ticket in summer 20 and in the one column format. So another thing that we want to do and make sure is we, we go into page properties for this page. And we want to make sure that our page is a public page. Now, regardless of what the community uh, defaults are, and this is a customer service template, um, it actually requires login for some functionality. Regardless of that, I can actually set my page and make it public. Uh, we want to remember that the URL is buy dash ticket. So we have done that. Now we want to go ahead and publish this page. I'm going to go ahead and open this URL, the URL for uh, the community in a new incognito window. Now, this is by default going to take me to the login page, but I'm going to enter right after s slash buy ticket. That was the URL of my page. And as soon as I enter that, I see that my flow starts running on the page automatically. So let me try whether the flow works. 555555555. Now the flow is not going to work because uh, we haven't uh, entered the necessary sharing rules. Now let's go ahead and fix that. Before I go to the sharing rules, I just want to make sure I show you um, that we have to also make sure that our guest user has access to the necessary objects. Now, the ticket uh, object is a very simple custom object and it has a lookup to the contact. So if we go to the ticket, ticket faster guest user profile over here, what we want to make sure is we want to go to accounts and we just see, let's go into edit mode first. What I want to make sure is I want to make sure that the accounts, uh, the guest user is marked for read access for the account and the contacts. And it has read and create 
access to the custom object tickets. Another thing that's also very important when you're dealing with flows on communities, you want to make sure that your guest user has run flows access. So go ahead and make sure that you check those, save. But as you know, we just tested this is not going to be sufficient for you to give the guest user sufficient access to run the flow successfully. So you, you, you want to go to your sharing settings. And you're going to see, let me just go into edit mode. That's where I see it very easily. Let me just show you first that secure guest user record access is activated. This is the setting that is going to be mandatory. Uh, and uh, the external uh, user access and defaults are also set. You can see that for account in contact, uh, account in contract, the access, the external access is private. Um, Let's get out of here and you see here over here that the external sharing model is activated as well. Now what we want to do is we want to scroll down. You see over here that secure guest user access is activated on this view. We want to scroll down and we want to set an account sharing rule so that the guest user can see the contact. Now, the contact record is going to inherit in our setup uh, the security and sharing rules from the account record. That's why we are setting our sharing rule at the account level. Share account uh, with community guest user. And then what we're going to select here, guest user access based on criteria. Now, what I chose to do here is I'm going to share accounts with ownership field uh, other. So if the ownership field for the account is set to other, and then I'm going to share it with ticket faster site guest user. I have actually another guest user here. This one is for a visual force page. Uh, I've been testing on this instance. So I want to make sure I use the correct one. This is the guest user for the community. The only ac access I can give for account is read only, which is sufficient for me. I just want to look up the contact. Hit OK. And now the sharing rules are going to be calculated. I already received an email, so this must have gone through. So let's go back to the community and test whether this time it's going to work. Refresh the page. Mobile phone number 555-555-5555. Next. And as you can see, a ticket with record ID, blah, 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 has been created for Lauren Boyle. We can actually go back to Lauren Boyle record and then look up. And T15 has been created and the creator of the record is the ticket faster site guest user. Now, this is not your only option. Uh, you can choose to share some of the contact records with the guest user. You can do it by field values. You can do it by record type. But uh, as far as I understand, Salesforce doesn't recommend sharing records or a lot of records with the, with the external user without login uh, because it's a security concern. So another uh, 
possibility that you have to overcome this new hurdle is you can actually let me just go back and delete that sharing rule so that's that is done I just received an email that it was already calculated now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my flows and instead of using a flow in the default mode I'm going to use a flow that's going to be run on system mode without sharing so it's, it's going to run in system mode and it's going to ignore the sharing rules and you know give access to whoever runs it uh, at the system level now I can see that here and this is where this is set guys here you see that pick list over here so when you sh choose system context without sharing and this is new for summer 20 as well um, you're going to be able to run your flow at the system level without sharing now I'm going to activate this one and my community is going to automatically use this flow version now as you remember I just deleted the sharing rule so without system level flow this actually shouldn't run and succeed creating a ticket for the contact let's do another test and we see that the system is able to create a ticket custom object record for Lauren Boyle without the sharing rule that's all thank you very much for watching